गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन टू फोर टू दैट इज एग्रीकल्चर फाइनेंस एंड कोऑपरेशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज एग्रीकल्चरल फाइनेंस डेफिनेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल फाइनेंस नेचर स्कोप इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर फाइनेंस एंड माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो फाइनेंस ओके वी विल सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज what is meaning of agricultural finance as we know agriculture finance generally means with studying examining analyzing the financial aspects related to farm business as we know agriculture finance or agriculture is the core sector of india there are various financial aspects which includes money matters relating to production of agriculture products and their disposal so overall agriculture finance means financial study of the farm businesses okay now definition of agriculture of finance there are two economists they have given the definition of agriculture of finance uh, first one is murray in 1953 he has defined agriculture of finance as an economic study of borrowing funds by farmers the organization and of a farm lending agencies and of society's interest in a credit for agriculture so this is definition given by murray and another very easiest definition of agriculture finance which is given by tendon and dondial in 1962 according to him agriculture finance as a branch of agricultural economics means agriculture finance is a branch of agricultural economics which deals with and financial resources related to individual farm units so these are the two definition of agriculture finance given by murray tendall and the dondial okay now we will moving forward towards the nature and scope agriculture finance studied at both levels means agriculture finance at micro and agriculture finance at macro level so in a macro finance which deals with the different sources of raising funds for agriculture as a whole in the economy that is macro finance what macro finance macro finance deals with different sources of raising funds for agriculture as a whole sector in the economy okay as a whole sector means macro finance another macro finance is also concerned with the lending procedure rules regulation monitoring and controlling of different agricultural credit institution okay in country or in a india okay macro finance is related with the different agricultural credit institutions hence macro finance is related to financing of agriculture sector at aggregate level so macro finance it is related to financing of whole agriculture sector at a aggregate level or at a overall okay now next is micro finance then micro finance refers to financial management of the individual farm business units micro finance it is related to the financial management of the individual farm business units and it is concerned with the study as to how individual farmer considers various sources of credits quantum of credit to be borrowed from each source and how he allocates the same among the alternative uses within the farm means how that particular farmer utilizes his financial resources among the different among the different enterprises or among the different inputs okay then microfinance is also concerned with the future use of funds therefore 
keep in mind macro finance deals with the aspect related to total credit need of agriculture sector the terms and condition under which the credit is available and the method of use to total credit for development of agriculture as a whole sector while on the other hand micro finance refers to the financial management of individual farm business okay this is a major difference between macro and micro finance because macro finance deals with the aggregate of financial aspects or ag finance financial management as a whole whereas micro finance deals with the particular individual or particular business unit okay financial activities relate to decision of obtaining and use of credit okay which are the financial decisions from where we will get the loan from where we will get the credit and how to use that credit in the farm management okay then marketing activity involves managerial decisions related to procurement of inputs and distribution and sale of the output okay thus financial thus financial decisions more often than not overlap the production and the marketing decision but the financial decisions are the most important as compared to marketing and the production decisions thus we should recognize that production financial and marketing decisions are concerned with the financial acquisition and financial use depending upon the goals of financial manager okay so from this discussion this is clearly deficit or this is clearly shows that farm management and farm financial management are not altogether different in fact the latter is a part of farmer means financial management is a part of the farm management okay hence the concepts principles analytical tools etc which aid in the management of farm are also applicable to the farm financial management okay now this is about the scope now what is the importance of agricultural finance as we know farm finance assumes or farm finance has a very important role in the agro socio economic development of a country both at individual level means at micro level and at aggregate level means at the macro finance level so agricultural finance has a catalytic role in strengthening the farmers farming business and augments the productivity from the scarce resources okay for instance new potential seeds when combined with purchased inputs like uh, fertilizer plant protection chemical in requisite proportion results in the higher productivity of resources okay now another importance application of new technologies inputs obtained through farm finance by use of the farm finance proper use of by farm finance which helps to boost agricultural productivity okay then assertion assertion of assertion to farm assets and farm supporting infrastructure provided by large scale financial investment activities entail or which leads to increase the farm income okay leading to overall improvement in the living standard of the rural masses or rural area then next important farm finance can also contribute to reduction in regional economic imbalances if we provide the farm finance okay financial support to the agriculture or financial support to the rural area we can improve their socio economic status okay or we can reduce the economic imbalances okay and is equally good at narrowing down the inter farm assets and wealth variation then next farm finance is not a just a science to manage the money farm finance means is not a just science to manage the money but it is an applied science of 
all allocating scarce resources to derive the optimum output. Means it is allocation of the scarce resources to obtain the maximum output from the farm. Okay. It is a lever with a forward and backward link linkages to the economic development both at micro and the macro level. So, farm finance act as a lever with forward and backward linkages to the economic development both at micro and the macro level. So, the role of farm finance in strengthening and developing of both input and output market in the agriculture sector has a crucial and the significant role. Means farm finance has a very important role in strengthening and developing the input and output market. Okay. Now, next, in Indian agriculture is still traditional. As we know, we are following the traditional cultural practices or traditional practices of uh, production. So, Indian agriculture is still traditional, subsistence and stagnant in nature. Hence, agriculture of finance is needed to create supporting infrastructure for adoption of the new technology. Means, Indian farmers need the new financial policies to support the infrastructure for adoption of the new technologies. Okay? Then, Matthew or large amount of investment is needed to carry out major and minor irrigation projects. As we know, as the irrigation is the most important factor in the crop production. So, there is need to carry out major and minor irrigation projects for rural electrification means electricity is most important for agriculture and energy and installation of fertilizers and chemical plants execution of agricultural promotional promotional programs and poverty elevation programs in the country. So, these are the major or most important role of agriculture finance in the economic development of agricultural sector. Now, what is significance of agriculture finance? Okay. Agriculture finance assumes or plays a vital and significant important in agro socio-economic development of the country both at macro and macro level. Okay? It is a playing a catalytic role in strengthening the farm business, augmenting productivity, scarce resources. Okay? This is the significance of agriculture finance. Then use of new technologies to input purchase through from agriculture farm finance with the support of the agriculture farm finance which helps to increase the agricultural productivity. Then farm finance can also reduce the regional economic imbalances as we have discussed in earlier part also. Farm finance is a lever with forward and backward linkages to the economic development at a micro and macro level. These are the same. So, this is all about the what is mean by agricultural finance, definition of agricultural finance, scope and importance of agricultural finance what is micro finance and what is macro finance. For this course, you can refer the book Agriculture Finance and Management by Subba Reddy and Raghuram. Another book is Agriculture Economics by Subba Reddy. Thank you.